Is it on now? There we go. Rich Lieberman, Lee Hill District. I'd like to congratulate the new board members. We, the people, are excited for the prospect of change and to encourage you not to repeat the mistakes of the previous board. Please don't become a block of five, but instead focus on what's best for our kids and our staff. Vote your hearts. All seven uh, board members have a voice, and you guys so far have been voting well. <clears throat> I'm here tonight to speak on an important issue. Early last school year, there was a lot of attention brought to the food insecurity issues in our buildings. This was both with uh, school uh, needing donated snacks, but also provided weekend bags for those in need. They were even given, uh, there were even multiple news articles and social media posts about this problem. While there's currently some assistance by various groups, this does not even come close to covering the need here in the county. When the public became aware, they stepped up, they helped spread the word, donated various schools, multiple businesses stepped up, held events to address this need. Two of our schools were even adopted by local businesses for the year. There was a motion by Ms. Cole to put a patch on the issue while we looked at a long-term long solution. This motion failed. After months of ask, the public asking the board for assistance, the board finally proposed a new policy that would essentially shut the public out from helping with the problem. The public came out in droves against this, and even those who proposed the policy realized they had to back off. Unfortunately, this is not the end of the board's central office stopping the public. I have been told by multiple school level administrators that central office put out the word that schools could no longer ask for assistance on this issue. One administrator even said they were looking to quote unquote, hang someone on this. Many of our staff quietly got the word out, but obviously this was not near as successful as the previous public efforts. This means more hungry kids in our buildings. Things were so bad two months ago, a high level athlete by the name of Curtis Martin, a professional football player, um, Hall of Famer, you see him on the commercials for the NFL, donated $7,000 to one school PTA to help feed these kids. He has no ties to this area. But just because the problem is that bad. This is normally the type of thing that the press goes mad about. We had to keep it quiet because we couldn't trust central office to not go after these school people. Um, and note, I can't even say the school's name now because they still don't trust central office. I'm requesting this board hold a vote tonight, giving schools permission to publicly request assistance on this issue. While the board has many pressing matters, this is a quick patch on the problem. I then request this board over the next few months look at how we can address this issue of food security in a more permanent way. As common sense dictates, hungry children have problems focusing and thus not receiving the information given. Hungry children are also more likely to be a disruption to the other students and take the focus away from our educators doing their jobs. It's time we put the focus back on our kids and away from the politics of this board. Thank you. 